Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and White. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to read an OTP from a text message right using Kotlin as the backend language. So let me just give you a brief demonstration of what we're gonna get by the end of this video. So if you can see on my mobile screen, there is this edit text field in which we need to enter an OTP. So if I just send a OTP to this mobile number right, so I've sent the OTP. Here you can see a bottom sheet dialog has popped up which says allow this app to read the message and enter the code. If I just click on allow, you can see the OTP has automatically been entered to the edit text field. So this is what we'll be getting by the end of this video. If you want to implement the same, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So let's start. So let me just show you the front end XML file. So here you can see I already have the design for this. So basically we have two things, the edit text field and a login button. So we'll be using only the edit text field in this tutorial. We'll fill up this with the OTP that we receive via SMS. So we're not going to discuss this. We'll emphasize on the backend code only. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to implement two Google Play service libraries. So for that, I'll just copy this. I'll also put it in the description for you guys. You can just copy it from there and paste it here. So let me sync the project. So let this sync be completed. I'm going to skip this. Okay guys, the sync has been completed. Now we'll just go to main activity, Kotlin code, right? So for saving the text SMS, we need to create a broadcast receiver. For that, I'll just create a new class. So right click here, Kotlin class. We'll name it as SMS broadcast receiver, right? Now this class will extend the broadcast receiver class. So now we need to implement a method. So click here, alt enter, implement members and this on receive right. And we need to put these brackets here. So okay, now we're gonna write our main code inside this on receive method. We need to override this method. So before that, we need to create an interface. So let me do that. We'll name it as SMS Broadcast Receiver Listener, right? You can give whatever name you want to. Let us keep it simple. And inside this, we'll declare two methods. The first one is on success. That will take intent as an argument. And the second one is on failure and it will not take any arguments so now let us implement the code inside this on receive so first we'll check if at sms a retriever dot sms retrieved action So basically you are checking that if the intent for which this broadcast receiver has been notified is for the text SMS or not, right? So we'll declare extras and we'll get it from the intent, right? And the second variable that we have is SMS a retriever status so we'll get the status here so extras dot get sms retriever dot extra status right so if you're new to this kotlin so this basically we have put this question mark for checking the null attribute So press Alt Enter to implement it. 
so now we'll use when sms retriever status dot status code so inside this we'll implement two methods that is we'll check if it is successful so basically common status codes dot success and the second one is common status codes dot timeout right so basically uh, when you enable this broadcast receiver it waits for five minutes if you do not get a text message for the five minutes this timeout mess method will be called and you will land here right but if you have successfully received the text message within five minutes then we will get this dot success so inside this we will declare a message intent variable and we will use extras extras dot get parsable and inside this estimates retriever dot this right and you need to declare the type here so we'll have it intent yeah so after that let us declare the interface variable sms broadcast receiver listener so okay let us use this variable and we'll call on success and we'll pass this message intent as an argument and inside this we'll call on failure so that is all we need to do inside this broadcast receiver class now let us just go to our main activity code so let us declare certain variables so the very first one is request user consent basically it will contain the request code that we just gonna make the second one is sms broadcast receiver and the last one will be etotp to refer to our text input field right text input edit text So let us quickly refer to this edit x field okay now we're gonna call a method start smart user consent we're just gonna create this method don't worry about it so let us implement this method basically we'll create a client here for the sms Retriever dot get client and we'll pass the context here. Now let us start the SMS user consent and we'll pass null here. So let me just take a pause here. So I have pass null here because for using this api there are certain conditions so one of one among them is that uh, the text you are getting from a certain number that should not be saved inside your context list basically the user who is using that app that particular number should not be used saved inside the context list so if it is the case then you can pass null otherwise if that number is saved or you know the number from where you'll be getting the text you can mention that number here instead of null right so i guess this is clear now now we can create another method to register our broadcast user so i'll name it as register broadcast receiver right so sms broadcast receiver is equal to sms broadcast receiver will create object of that 
let's refer to three object class now now we need to override two methods alt enter implement members we're gonna implement both the members so i guess it should be sms broadcast receiver right yeah so the on success will be called when we get the text message so we'll call this method start activity for result and inside this we'll pass the intent and the quest code that we have just defined here right so inside this on failure you can raise a toast or you can do according to your application i'm just i'm not gonna do anything as if now so now we need to override two other methods that is on start and the second one will be on stop so when this on start will be called we want to register our broadcast receiver so i'll call this method and we want to make sure that we unregister this broadcast receiver to prevent the memory leak so we'll use unregister receiver and we'll pass this sms broadcast receiver right so okay now we have made sure that when our activity starts this on on the on start our broadcast receiver should be registered and on stop it should be unregistered now what i'm gonna do is we're gonna overwrite on activity result so we'll check if the request code is equal to the code we have used to raise the request if it is so then we'll check if a result code is equal to a result okay and data is not equal to not right so we want to make sure that we have got something inside this data so we'll create a message variable that will contain the message that we have just got get string extra so sms retriever dot extra sms message now we'll call this method get otp from message to update our otp to the edit text so we'll just create this method now we have got the message so we'll extract the otp out of it so otp pattern is equal to pattern dot compile and here we need to pass certain special characters that will let me just copy it first we have to put it inside this columns so basically what it will do is we have the whole message and out of it we want to extract the six digits right so you can change this according to your application but in my case the otp length is six so i'm using this i guess need to put one more bracket here yeah i'll put this pattern in the description below you can just copy it from there and paste it here right so well mature now we'll match the pattern and we'll pass the message inside it now we'll check if the pattern find something out of the message
then we'll set the OTP to our edX field. So set next matter dot group and we'll pass zero. So okay guys, let me just check if we are everything is okay. I guess we are missing something. So here we have to declare intent filter. So SMS retriever dot SMS retrieved action register receiver. So okay. So please make sure that you write down this two lines here inside this register broadcast receiver. So let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not, right? So okay guys, the app has been installed to my cell phone. As you can see on my mobile screen, if I just send an OTP. So we have got this pop up. If I just click on this allow button. So the OTP has been entered to the edit text field. So I guess we have successfully implemented the code inside our Android application. And I also hope that you guys have understood the code. In case you have any doubt, you can always ask me in the comment section. Or you can DM me on Instagram. The Instagram username will be there on your screen right now. I'll also put the link of the source code in the description below. If you want, you can check out the source code as well. And if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for saving the notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See another video. Bye.